What is going on guys? Welcome to the show today. I'm your host with the mostest, Rush Boris. If you're new to the channel, drop down, be a subscriber, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, today's video is a little bit of a mix up. Uh, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Er, er, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is going to be kind of one final goodbye to 2018. Before we get into this video too much, I've been on this platform now for a little over three, a little under three years total. And I've been consistently making content, putting it on the platform now for just a little over a year. Uh, and at the start of this year, I wrote down some goals that I want to share with you guys. Uh, some of those goals are, you know, just motivational things, get the work done, work ethic, patience, uh, music will make your videos become next level, uh, put your effort into the creative process, there's also some subscriber goals, watch time goals, and view count goals on this sheet as well. And I checked off every goal that I set out to accomplish this year. Everything. I, I checked every box. And so I think if you guys have some goals that you want to accomplish as well, writing them out on paper is so big uh, because it gives you a chance to look at it over and over again. And I think that plays a huge role in the execution and success of your guys' goals. Um, since I wrote these down, lots has changed, guys, and that's kind of the theme of this video is change. So without any hesitation, let's get right into it. There's a quote from an old Chinese proverb that I like to share with you guys that, in my opinion, resonates very well with 2018. When the winds of change blow, some people build walls, while others build windmills. I started this year out ice fishing at Port Pet. I didn't know it then, but that would turn into a passion and a thrill that I'll chase the rest of my life. And little did I know, the cold winds of change had already started to blow in the sub-zero temperatures of Fort Peck. But the moment I became a full-blown addict was when that tiger mussy latched onto my jig at Lake Elmo. To this day, I can't describe the feeling I had. That fading feeling followed us into the heart of the Beaverhead River, where we stuck ourselves in the snoot and some fat trout. As I look back now, right around this time is when the winds of change started to really blow. In the span of the next three months, my jet boat broke down twice and I quit my job at the hotel that I enjoyed for three years. This was a difficult time for me. I just quit the job that I was so comfortable with after three years to move on to bigger and better dreams. When life throws you a curveball, sometimes you have to just strike out. This is when I had to dig deep and make a move towards what I wanted, to be a creator. During this time, I really tried and struggled to find my creative vibes. Then, one day, I woke up and it all just kind of changed. One of my best friend's little sisters was getting married, and they had asked me if I could film the wedding for them. Without hesitation, I jumped on the opportunity. And for the first time in my life, I felt someone gave me the opportunity to be creative, something I've never found before. Safe to say this was the first real time in my life I had made the connection. This is what I could and should be doing. From there, we traveled across the country to New York to fish and film with some amazing people then came back home to start the 1,000 mile Montana tour. And to top it off, to put the cherry on top of everything, I dislocated my shoulder three weeks ago in an experience that challenged me to my core mentally and physically. So all in all, 2018 was a crazy year for me, full of highs and lows, uh, crazy adventures, full of uncertainty and madness. Uh, and if there's one thing that you guys can take away from this video, it's don't be afraid of the change that you will encounter because it's molding you into the person you are supposed to become. And as 2019 is just hours away, guys, don't be afraid to look back at 2018 and appreciate your successes and failures for what they really are. And as we look forward to 2019, my advice to you guys is continue to create, continue to travel, continue to love, and continue to push the limits every day in everything that you guys do. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I love each and every one of you. Have a great night, 
and we'll see you next year.